Yellowstone in turmoil, a giant volcano awakens from its long slumber. Beneath the expanse of meadows, pine forests, and blue lakes in Yellowstone National Park lies a formidable force of nature that visitors rarely realize, a massive volcano, often called a supervolcano. For thousands of years, this system has lain dormant, only occasionally erupting in the form of geysers, hot mud eruptions, and faint rumblings. But now, in late 2025, geological signs indicate that Yellowstone is active again, though not yet dangerously so. September 2025 recorded 87 small earthquakes, most of them with magnitudes below 3.3. The epicenters were spread across the Norris Geyser Basin, Yellowstone Lake, and the Mary Lake Fault Zone, areas known to be highly geothermally active. According to monthly reports from the USGS, this activity is considered normal for a volcanic system as large as Yellowstone. However, the data showed a more frequent tremor pattern than in previous months, a small signal that hot fluids and gases were moving beneath the surface. There's no sign of magma rising to the surface, but we can feel the system breathing, explained Dr. Michael Poland, coordinator of the Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, in a press conference on October 20th, 2025. In addition to the tremors, GPS gauges around the caldera indicated that the ground had lifted by about 1.5 centimeters since May 2025. This phenomenon is not new. Yellowstone naturally experiences a swelling and contracting cycle due to the pressure of hot fluids underground. Dr. Poland emphasized, every year we see the ground rising and falling. Sometimes it's one centimeter, sometimes it's three centimeters. That's a sign that the hydrothermal system down there is still active and dynamic. It doesn't mean a major eruption is imminent. However, for some scientists, this deformation pattern remains intriguing. Long-term data shows a recurring inflation pattern every four, six years, which is thought to be related to the movement of superheated fluids in the upper magma chamber.
It was like a giant heartbeat reminding the world that Yellowstone was still alive and biding its time. On May 31, 2025, visitors at Biscuit Basin were startled by an explosion of hot water in a pool called Black Diamond Pool. Within seconds, boiling water shot 26 feet into the air, sending small rocks and steam billowing through the air. The phenomenon was quickly determined by YVO to be a small hydrothermal explosion, not a magma eruption. Superheated water is trapped beneath layers of rock. When the gas pressure increases, it explodes like a boiler, said Dr. Wendy Stovall, a geothermal expert with the USGS. This incident served as a reminder that Yellowstone harbors thousands of active hotspots that could erupt at any moment, even without major warning signs. Every time activity at Yellowstone increases, the internet goes wild. Sensational videos and articles emerge with headlines like Yellowstone Supervolcano is about to erupt or the end of the world begins in America. However, scientists have vehemently denied these rumors. According to the USGS, the chances of Yellowstone experiencing a super eruption in the next 10,000 years are extremely small even smaller than the chance of Earth being hit by a large asteroid. Recent studies suggest that future eruptions will likely involve large slow lava flows, not a massive continent-destroying explosion. If Yellowstone erupts again, it will likely be like Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, a lava flow, not a global explosion. The Cowboy State Daily wrote in a September 2025 scientific report.